YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna have a meta update. We're gonna talk about what is the best deck slash decks in this current format before we get like any new boxes and new stuff. So let's go over it. So um, the the top player council has determined a new tier list. I think that was July 10th, so that was two days ago. But you gotta always keep in mind, the top player council, when they do a tier list, they usually consider a best of three format, because that's what um, the tournaments they're playing in um, are, basically. So, best of three format. But what we care about, what I care about, what you care about, is normal gameplay, right? It's best of one. Um, KC Cup format, ladder format if you're trying to get hit platinum legend king of game you care about best of one format so this is accessible to anybody you just go to the website and see this tier list but you don't care about this you want what is the best for a best of one so let me talk to you about it now um we see that in the top uh, best of three we have odd eyes and speed droid of course when they say odd eyes they mean odd eyes orcust by the way um just letting you the uh just letting you know uh, I know I know most of the people in uh, the top layer council, so uh, apparently their decision was made as if Odd Eyes is mixed with um, Orcust, not pure Odd Eyes. In a best of one format, I'm pretty sure this is in line with the best of three, right? Best of one is in line with best of three in the tier one um, category. Speed droids and Odd Eyes are crazy good in a best of one format. I think they are... The best two decks to be played, just like a best of three. But, here's the difference. I would take Trick Stars, right? And take them all the way up to, let's say, not tier 1, but tier 1.5. At, like, bare minimum, 1.5. So close to, to these two decks on 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 um, a best of one format. Um, Trick Stars is such a great deck. If you, haven't, um, if you haven't seen it being played... I think I uploaded, yeah, I'm pretty sure I uploaded a deck profile on it um, where I play tested it. I think I got like a 14 win streak, something crazy like that. Um, the deck is crazy, right? In a best of one format. Same as Speed Droids and Odd Eyes. Now, what makes what makes these good, right? So Speed Droids, they can, they have, they are like ultra consistent, right? They always can set up um, Crystal Wing. Usually in their combo they summon Fokimadoshi and excavate like three four cards and you take one of them usually that's back row so more than likely most of the time you see speed droids they're gonna set up crystal wing and at least one back row let alone if they have you know extenders they can do double synchro summon right crystal wing cyber slash harpy lady crystal wing and the level seven and the one back row at least so it is ultra consistent it's so good like the boards it's set up are so, so crazy. Your opponent needs to open specific cards to deal with it, right? So that what makes it tier one, both in best of three and best um, and a best of one. Odd Eyes Arcust, honestly, I feel like in, in best of one, even Odd Eyes on its own is decent, but it's not tier one, right? Odd Eyes Arcust, what is this setup if it, if it goes first? Um, I think Sniffus talks about it here, yeah. Their ideal turn one is Deco Talker. Orchestrated Babel, Dingirsu, and a rank 4 of choice. That's an insane board for- we're talking about Duel Links, not TCG, it's not Master Duel, this is Duel Links. Setting up Deco Talker, Ding, Babel, and um, a rank 4, it could be a Dweller, it could be a Roach, whatever you need, depending on the matchup, is pretty crazy. Now, assuming you don't open the ideal hand with Odd Eyes, you still can set up crazy boards, right? Um, you can- uh, at, le at the, like the bare minimum, you can set up um, a couple Xyz monsters or something, depending on the version you play. So, yeah, decks that are ultra consistent are always super crazy good in best of one um, formats. Of course, consisten consistency matters in uh, best of three, but like you could play around in best of three with, with a side deck. You could, you could lose a bit consistency. It could be fine. Just a tiny bit, right? Um, Trick Stars, as we said, 1.5. Trick Stars has, like, a huge toolbox. It can do so many things. So, um, I would put it at 1.5. And then we go for the Tier 3. They have Destiny Heroes, Orcus, and Rockets. I would take Rockets and put it as Tier 2. Um, for the best of one format. For the format we care about, right? Rockets is an annoying deck. Not everybody knows how to deal with it. Especially on Ladder. We're not talking about tournaments and competitive gameplay, right? When you go to Ladder... 
more than likely, 90, 95% of the time, you're facing... I don't want to say it, but you're facing bad players, let's be real. Um, either bad players or, or like, new, new, newish players, or just players that don't bother reading and they don't care if they lost to a deck, they don't, they don't know why they lost. They just go against it again and do the same mistake. So Rock is one of those decks where you're going to win. Um, it, it is strong on its own, but it's going to get extra ones because because people don't know how to deal with it. Some people don't know how to deal with it. So I would put Rockets as um, Tier 2. We said these are Tier 1, and um, Trickstar is Tier 1.5. Um, as for the last two decks, I would put them in the same category, right? Tier 3, Destiny Heroes, and Orcus. Pure Orcus is meh lately, you know? A lot of decks can deal with a um, Dingir Surpass, right? Or Dingir Surpass, one back row pass. So Orcus, like Pure Orcus doesn't feel as strong anymore. I would keep it at Tier 3. Destiny Heroes, now the, the nice thing about Destiny Heroes is they can set up um, pretty great boards going first, but... In a best of one format, all that matters is consistency. How consistent is this um, setup, the Destiny Hero setup? <coughs> In Destiny Heroes, you need your Beatrice, preferably Dystopia alongside it, and at least one back row. It is not consistent to get all three out every time. And if you go second, you kind of struggle against a, a real deck. So I would, it's still gr a great deck, don't get me wrong. Like. It is going to win, but I think in a best of three, it is better than a best of one for Destiny Heroes. And uh, Necros falling off the tier list. Yeah, I, I don't I don't see Necros being good at all. But yeah, these this is my my take on best of one tier list. Odd Eye Speed Roids as tier one. Tier 1. 1.5 is going to be Trick Stars. Tier 2 is going to be Rockets. And then tier 3 is Orca's Destiny Hero. And then Rogue Dex is everything else, right? We can check for rogue decks if we go to top decks here. Um, we got what? One of the most used decks is Goki. Goki is definitely a rogue. It's not that strong, right? It got few tops in tournaments, but I doubt them being, you know, um, highly competitive tournaments. They're okay tournaments, and it got few, a few, a few cog rank ups. That's about it. Co like Goki's is one of those decks that decks that are. Rogue, a fun to play. You can win, definitely, but you're not gonna be streaking like like the um, other decks. If you play Speed Droids, Odd Eyes, uh, Trick Stars, you might be going for like 10 win streak, easy. But with Gokis, I doubt that. Like 3 win streak is your max, probably. Salamigrade is another deck that is considered... So many Rogue decks, which is nice in the in, in, um, in Duel Links. That's a nice thing. Like, if, if you're a fan of one of these decks, you're happy. Because most of these decks are usable. We got Salamigrade... Or Sarctic, I don't think Necros, but Necros, Arm Dragon, Crusadia, Mermail Atlantean, Resonator, Onomat, Raid Raptor, all of them are usable, all of them are considered rogue. And rogue decks in a best of one format are pretty pretty fine, you know. You can ki king of game king of games with it. Um, but you're gonna take a longer time. Mermail Atlantean is a really, really decent one, also. Look at this. Um, three of the TPC members hit cog with it. Well got Got spicy win streak and then two cogs. And I made a deck profile on this deck on on the um, Atlantean deck. It was um, we we got like new cards with it, which um, boosted this deck basically and made it playable again. And you can hit King of Games easily with it. But yeah, you get the idea. Now I want to talk about something else. I don't know if I want to make a video out of it. All right, yeah, I'll 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 just make a separate video on it. But let me tell you what is the uh, thing I want to talk about. So. We know that leaked is some Lunalite cards, right? We got Lunalite, Leo. I don't know if the card is here. Yeah, we, this this card is leaked. Lunalite, Leo Dancer. And I, as I said before, I expect Lunalites to be um, not only Leo Dancer to be coming, but more new cards. But Lunalites also have limits. We got um, Yellow Morton as limited to three. We got Emerald Bird limited to three. We got uh, Crimson Fox limited to two. So it has some restrictions. Um, for the next video, I want to talk. I will be talking about Luna Lights, how it was played, right? For for the people that don't know how Luna Lights were played, if you do, I guess you can use a refresh and how potentially it could be played in the future. Although it's uh, tough to tell because you got so many cards that will make a difference if they come in. Something like uh, um, Kelly Doe Chick, for example, this card. 
It's a pretty good good card. There is a Pendulum. Yeah, Luna Light Tiger. If these come, it's going to change the way Luna Lights is played. And another thing I'm going to teach you next video. I don't know if I... Yo, hey, here's the thing. This is your test for today. Let me know in the comments. I want to teach you how to choose your chain link order in something like Luna Lights. You cannot actually choose the um, chain link order in every deck, but Luna Lights has that access. You can chain, you can choose the chain order. If you want to learn that in the Luna Light video, let me know. If you want me to make a separate video about like, you know, tips and tricks about the game and put the chain link thing in there, I'm fine with doing that. I'll teach you how to read the clock, read the, the delays, you know, what to do against certain decks, um, teach you how to choose chain links if that is um, accessible in your deck. So let me know, do you want to learn the chain link in a separate video with tips and tricks, or do you want to learn how to choose your chain link order in my uh, next Luna Light video? That's going to be for you. Comment section, go crazy. This is going to be it for this video. Hope you it was uh, a bit helpful. Always check this website, of course, the Duel Links Meta website, if you want um, info on any deck. For example, here you go, Odd Eyes deck. You have a whole bunch of um, deck list. I will advise you. Always go with tournament decks. Don't go with King of Games. King of Games more than likely are going to be the trash versions. So go for something like this. Second place. Yeah, let's go. Pretty good deck, right? You, you don't even need to double check it. First place. Uh, if it's an unknown tournament. Well, yeah, that, that's still decent. So yeah, this is going to be it. Hope you, you enjoyed the video. Learned something from it at least. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.